in a prior video, we were introduced to this little guy. And essentially what it allows you to do is use a uh, 2230, add it into here, and then this would go into your um, uh, Wi-Fi slot. But as we discovered, There's not enough room. This is this is a G4. There's not enough room um, to get the guy in there without really, you know, you really have to cut the case. Well, never fear. I found something that we can try today. Found this on um, Amazon, and what it should do is give us some more room because what it essentially does is it just turns at 90 degrees. So we're gonna see if we can fit all this apparatus together and be able to say, hey, now with the G4 and G5, we can use the, um, the Wi-Fi key slot, whichever you wanna call it, um, for um, an additional drive. Okay, let's try that. Okay, we're going to, I know this is going to get in the way, so let's take out that guy first. That's the existing, um, I believe for all this to work, what's going to have to happen is that you're going to have to use a 2230 in this slot. So let's look. Um, and I know that there is a, a hole for it. It's kind of funky, but there is a hole there. All right, let's jimmy that out. Got so many screws around here. <laughs> Trying to keep them straight, put, put them together. Yeah, so you'd have to put a, um, a 2230 here if you wanted to be able. So let's... Take this out. And okay, so here's here's the unit. Now let's see about this other guy and how he's gonna fit. So he's supposed to go into here. Okay, so he's already too big. So it looks like there's, hmm, it's got the, this, hmm, I don't know about that. If I break that, how is it going to stay in the slot? Uh, but if I don't break it, it's not going to fit at all. Um, see, that doesn't work. Okay. Um... Let me do a little research on this. Okay, so I think what might work is it's quite a layer, but I believe if I break this off and stick it in, it sure looks like the hole is going to go right here to this one right here so that that way, um, it secures it. Uh, it's almost like this was made for it. It's kind of interesting. Uh, maybe, maybe it is. You know, who knows? A lot of enthusiasts, or maybe that's a similar thing. So it would go there. Then, so that's going to scroll into there. This is going to go on here and attach this hole is going to go onto here and then finally this is going to screw into there so if all goes well it should all come together so let's see a um, little nervous this this part was i think 10 bucks on amazon so um 
I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it. It sure seems like that hole's going to match up. So let's, let's, let's see. Hmm. That doesn't want to come off of there too easily. Um, hmm. That's not always a good indicator, and it doesn't look like it's it's connecting to anything. Let's um, got the pliers. All right. Let's uh, let's see. We got a. It came with this little screw here. So I think that's the one that's going to screw into the one. So let's let's hope it's all going to fit. The other thing is whether once we get this all in here, it's going to. Um, not be so high that uh, we can't fit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Let's see. I'm so hopeful. Oh, man. Just, let's see, I don't know, is that, who, what if, hmm, can we kind of jerry-rig where we get over, ah, let's see, no, that's not going to work. I have to file that. Well, I don't even know if we file it down. Is that going to? Is that going to get in there? Let's see. Eh, it might. It might. Okay. Let me see if I can find something to file this down. Okay. So I used. Oh, where'd it go? Uh. So I use something like this. I'm sure any sort of, this is kind of like a spongy, it's not that coarse, but um, I um, <coughs> excuse me, um, took it and tried to get as smooth as I could on the edge there. Um, but you, got, you want to be careful because you don't want to go too much because you start getting into this looks like it's part of the actual electronics. Okay, so it still is a little tight here, but I tried it on my other G4 and I just lightly pushed the metal out just a smidge, didn't you know? Nothing forced, at least to get it past this little kind of lip that's there. Now, let's hope that that screw hole matches up. Oh shoot, it doesn't. Let's see. No. Okay. Uh, I was so sure that it was going to match up with it. Okay, so now we're left with this sort of hanging thing there. Um, well, bummer. 
okay. Are we still too big for this one? Okay, I'm going to see if we can take that out. Okay, since we know it's not going to m match up with this, I'm going to go ahead and kind of construct everything. I figure, what the heck, at least we got it down in there. Let's see if it's going to work. Okay, here's our little apparatus. All the various layers. Let's see. If we can still do where we stick it in and then lightly flex that. There we go. Make sure the wires aren't getting caught. Okay, good getting caught a little bit maybe we can kind of yeah, try it sticking them underneath is not the best okay we can deal with the um oh wow it's really popping up there okay um probably not the greatest having this right up against metal um hmm Okay, well, let's see if um, we can get this to boot. Because remember, we put um, Win 10 XPE onto this little guy. So if all is working, it should boot into it. All right, it's whirring up. I don't see anything booting yet any output on the um, monitor hmm Ooh. and it turned itself off okay um, hmm oh no now it's booting Let's see it's doing something Okay, I'm going to pause here. Well, it actually worked. Um, it booted a couple times. It would like turn on and off, but I think it's because um, the CMOS battery is probably old. And so consequently it didn't, um, you know, update. Uh, but we are inside of um, the environment. Um, I'll try to turn it later. Once I get, I'm going to run some speed tests, see what it looks like, and then I'll show it on the screen. Oh, I kind of similar numbers to what we saw with the other ones. Um, it, it is working. I think I, I probably will go ahead and maybe I'll change out the CMOS battery on this unit because uh, if it's not uh, keeping the information, but uh, I doubt the particular issue that I had is related to changing out the, you know, and putting this thing in because the other ones that, you know, we, we didn't do it. I think this particular unit's been out sitting without power for a lot longer. So um, most likely the settings just got lost. Okay, before I try this on the G5, I just kind of wanted to see how it would handle if we put the uh, <coughs> caddy back in. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be a little tight there. Let's see. I'm going to have to put these somewhere. Okay. So if I stick that guy down. Whoa. Yeah, even putting it all the way. Well, hmm. That's... I guess it's staying. Let's see. Let's look at that and see how those fit. Um, okay, so here's the guy. Kind of, 
And it holds down. Let's see. What happens if I. Uh, let me get the right. Uh, All right, got the right one now. No, it's, <laughs> it's not even screwing in. So, yeah, so you're going to have to decide whether this contraption here I think even of course if it was even screwed down it's still look how thick it is you know it's pretty thick uh, I, I just can't tell from there but it is pretty thick so I mean if I let's say it's higher than the than what the um, an M.2 would be so it would just be kind of sitting there yeah so you could you could do your 22 30 here, you could do a normal 2280 here, or a 2230. Um, You'd have three, but in the end, you're, you're also kind of, you're going to lose this guy, um, unless you're one of these people that doesn't mind <laughs> letting the, the, the other drive just sort of lay here, not in a caddy. Um, I've, you know, that's definitely doable too, so. Let's try the M, uh, M5, the G5. Okay, we got our G5. Let's, uh, we're gonna run into a lot of the same sorts of things. Let's take this out. Uh, okay, that must be. <laughs> Got way too many Wi-Fi cards laying around. Okay, let's jiggle this out. Oh, I don't know if I want. Well, okay, let's let's first see if we can get it to fit. Okay, I really don't think that hole is any different. Uh, let's see able to tell I guess I'd have to unscribe yeah I'm I'm going with the idea that it probably doesn't fit okay so I'm gonna do the same here we'll stick this in slightly move it Oop. let's make sure that uh, First, make sure that okay, that's all the way in. All right. Okay, that way we I don't have to deal with this guy. All right, that looks good. Let's um try to boot it up, and we have success. And let me get some numbers on those. Okay, and that's for the G5. Um, one last thing I'm going to try, um, <clears throat> show you what happens, you know, hey, can we actually get the case back on? That's kind of a, a critical one, too. I can confirm the case, at least for the G5, went back on. So, okay, well, I'll leave that to you guys to decide how you want to implement and use that. Um, uh, leave a comment. I'll put a link to where I got it off of um, Amazon. Uh, there were a couple different sellers. Um, this particular one, uh, I don't know, seemed to have more uh, information showing. But um, yeah, it's kind of a niche thing. Um, but I'd be curious to see how others are using it.